Alrighty boys, so today I'm going to be playing every Napoleonic Roblox game, and I'll be trying these games, reviewing them, and then putting them in a tier list. And let's start off with Guts and Black Powder. This game takes place during the Napoleonic War times, but the twist is, you're against the undead. Upon joining the game, you're met with the menu screen. From here, you can join the match, browse the other servers, change settings, and more. I chose to just find a server to get a new game. And yes, Guts and Black Powder, I feel like this is one of your more better, probably the best Napoleonic game out there. Mainly because of the twist with the zombies, how you're against the undead and stuff. Let me try to pick C-Man class, dude. The reason why I like the C-Man class is that the blunderbuss is pretty much like a shotgun or something. It's very good for like crowd control, right? And that's what I love. So let's go over here. Let's watch all these people. There's also a bomber back there and... Oh, this guy almost died. There's a bomber here too, I got you. I, I never mind, I cannot- I, I don't got you! Good shooting. There's another bomber. Okay, I got him this time there. I should try to do that next time again, try to actually help out my team and stuff. Because again, Guts and Black Powder is a very good team game chat. You can play solo, I'm pretty sure, if you're really good. But like, I'm not really good, so I need the, the team, of course. But let's go forwards. Let's get those three people right there. And the thing about this game, of course your reloads do take a long time. Just like the other Napoleonic games I'm about to play. Long reload time's not that much of a problem. You just have to be careful about it. This is the thing about the classes. This guy's playing a sapper, right? Which is pretty much like a builder. He's building defenses so these guys spawn in, they're gonna die. And of course, this is our objective right now to push this gunpowder wagon. Let's grab the torches and try to ignite it so then we ignite this thing. There we go. Zombies are gonna come from here too. Gotta be careful. Let's do that. Alright, please, I guess, on fire. Here we go. We're gonna be able to push it very soon. Oh my goodness, there's a bomber there! Oh wow, he almost died. Oh my goodness, I think he actually is dead. Dude, please die. I gotta reload this blunderbuss ASAP. Ooh! I think one of our teammates literally died as well. Oh my goodness, this is really bad. It's okay though, they can all respawn if we're able to push this thing. My teammates got me, though! Guys, I'm telling you, it's a team game. My teammates got my back. We're gonna do this thing together, chat. Ooh, I took some damage there. That's really bad. Oh god, it's not looking good, chat. This is not looking good. My teammate is dead! <laughs> so that was Guts and Black Powder. Probably a top 5 game I've played this year, and definitely one of the best Napoleonic Roblox games out there. Let's talk about the gameplay first. I love how they take zombies versus humans, but then throw it into the Napoleonic times. The objective in the game was very easy to understand, but it might be pretty difficult to finish, since there are so many threats out there to get you. I also love the weapons in the game, how you need to fire your shots with care. And as for the visuals and audios, it's great. If I had to rate this game in a tier list, let me just place it in the S tier. And boys, our next game is called Blood and Iron. The game is centered around the legendary Napoleonic Wars, where you face off against players and eliminate them to achieve victory. As you join the game, you can head straight into battle by clicking this button. Afterwards, you can join a team depending on the number of players, and from there, you can configure your loadouts. And okay, I have played Blood and Iron before. I would say it's a pretty solid Napoleonic uh, style game. It's pretty much like a PvP game where it's like you against the other enemy and like you fight. And I'm pretty sure for this game, if you want to shoot, you have to be uh, still, right? You click the F button to actually uh, shoot, so let's do that. And of course, you take a pretty decent time to reload, because like uh, the bus gets. Later. But okay, if we go this way, right, I might see them or something. We try to go in this building, we should try to maybe go with our team. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, I see them, chat. Ooh! Wait, I didn't kill him! Okay, I got one. Oh, and I got sniped by that person! Okay, chat, how did my first shot not hit? I think it might have did, but then I, I didn't aim for the head or something. Help me! And okay, here we go. I have a pistol now. That's actually really good. I have the spyglass as well. I'm pretty sure I can see farther. Yes, I can. This is the officer class for you people. I can see one. I see one guy right there. Ooh! Dude, we gotta go inside. We gotta flank around somehow. I'm gonna try to get that one guy in that one building. You guys know what I mean? Oh, this person knows that I'm here. Does he? 
Okay, we got him. Cool. We're able to get one, though. Let's just flank around again. One of my teammates are back here. I think one guy might be up here. Yo! Oh my goodness, I could have gotten one guy with me at least. I think most of us are, might be dead. Yeah. So that was Blood and Iron. I think the game is pretty solid for a Napoleonic War game. Now let's talk about its gameplay. I really like how simple the game is. Pretty much just kill the enemies and win. And one unique thing that I saw, depending on your weapon, you have to be standing still to fire or pretty much stationary. And as for the visuals and audios, the building style does look kind of plain, but that's what I like about it. There's nothing too distracting, right? And if I had to rate this game in a tier list, let me just put it in the A tier. So our next game is called Conquest. This game is a Napoleonic strategy game where you must control your units, fight against the enemies, and complete the objectives to win. After joining the game, you need to select a team. And from there, you can customize your loadout to your liking. Let's move all our units up here. And currently we're like down by like, what, 2,000? Almost like 3,000 or something? But yes, this is pretty much what the game is like. How you can have uh, your units here, you can control them. Of course, some units might be faster than others, might be more like, more damage, might be tankier and whatnot. We probably want to take over this one village where this uh, blue flag is. Let's select our units and try to move in, chat. We're gonna move in here. Bro, there's so much chaos happy right now. So many explosions and everything. Holy. At least we got like one or two of them. And now we're getting completely like shredded by these guys. Oh, these guys just fired and then they just died. They're loading and firing everything. And dude, there's so much lag in this game. There's so much happening. It's now or never. Let's do this thing, baby. Ooh. And I'm a dead man. Great. And boys, that was Conquest. This game is much different than the other games we just played, since it's more of a unit controlling strategy game, and that's what makes the gameplay unique. I like the loadout system, how you need to select your units, and you really have to look out for the amount of credits you use. The visuals of the game did look good, it definitely did look like Napoleonic style, and if I had to rate it in a tier list, let me just put it in a B tier. And boys, our next game is Bots and Muskets. This game is pretty much Guts and Black Powder meets Blood and Iron, then meets Lexington and Concord, and finally meets Weird Trick Dad. Upon joining, you can just enter the game, or maybe do a tutorial, and because I love playing games blindly, I simply just joined. Looks like it's only first person for now, which is fine. Press F to aim down sights, press X to maybe, uh, shoot. Okay, here's just stabbing, if we click on F... Bruh. Ew. They're gonna fall to his death! Bruh. Okay, cool, let's get them all together, they're very weak. Even though I might be low on HP, that's fine. I'm not afraid. Oh, never mind. I should be afraid of them. Five minutes later. Watch this. I think we got someone. Let's just reload now. This game's also first person only, so you have to be careful about that. Reload's actually pretty quick. Let's get him. We're not gonna reload though. We're gonna go up ahead. This guy has to reload himself. Look. And we got him because of that. Oh, and we just got sniped by that guy. Dude. Be the last team standing. Fight. Who are we fighting? Oh, these guys. Let's headshot that guy. I got you, teammate. Don't worry. Oh, he just died. Good job. So that was bots and muskets. I thought the gameplay was kind of scuffed, but scuffed in a good way. It felt kind of goofy, right? And the enemies were actually fun to play against. The game also offered different game modes, though there's some variety to it. And as for the visuals, I kind of like the building style of it. Overall, I thought the game was kind of fun to play. Let me just give this game a rating of a B tier. And guys, our next game is called Lexington and Concord. This game is a PvP game centered around American conflicts. Which by the way, I don't know if this is really a Napoleonic War kind of game. It just looks like one to me. Once you've joined the game, you can play or browse the servers, and I chose to play. After, select the team you want to fight for. And I'm pretty sure this game is kind of similar to the one that we just played, like Blood and Iron. Let's just pick Infantry for now, because like that's the most basic class. Because right now we're playing in the Siege of Eerie. Alrighty boys, here we go. We have a Lantern, we have a Saber, and we also have a Musket. I see some people up there. They're gonna try to snipe you, so let's keep on moving. Apparently got a gunshot kill. Okay, say no more. These are the enemies right there, but I don't think they really see us. We have some ladders coming down here. Let's just try to get up here, chat. Let's just try to go up. 
and I can't tell if these are our teammates or the Americans. They might be the Americans. Oh, shoot. Let's just rush into battle. We're not afraid. I just got a melee kill and then it got sniped. Two seconds later. Well, let me actually go to Officer Cloth this time because I really like this weapon a lot. This pistol, right? So let's just uh, shoot it. And then we can go. We got some spy glass as well so we can kind of see these people. We can see them all the way there. We can ping them. Look. I, I think I just got my head to cop hit or something, bro. Oh. Okay, I just got one person. Cool. We have low ground advantage. Like, we're sword fighting in real life. Okay, let's get him. We can guard here. We can guard. Really, Nick? Okay, I don't know why I was facing this way. I should be facing him. If we're able to attack them, get point A, that'll be great. We just have to do what we keep on doing best, which is try to, like, eliminate them. Let's go up ahead, get point A. Oh, never mind. <laughs> nice. One more hit. One more hit. Nice. Oh, shoot. This guy's coming. Okay, we got one. And this guy got the other person. Good shooting, teammates. Oh, my goodness. We failed to take four eerie. Great. Well, I guess that's it. Just get me. Okay. So that was Lexington in Concord. I felt like this game was very fun to play, the weapons were fun to use, and also the objective was very engaging to play. I love the visuals of the game and the style that it had. Overall, I think this is a very solid Napoleonic War game. If I had to rank this game, I would just place it at the top of the A tier. And boys, our next game is called Napoleonic Wars. And just like the name suggests, it's literally a Napoleonic War. So once you're in the game, you can click here to enter the battlefield. After, you can be an attacker or a defender, and then you can customize your loadouts. Okay, here we go. Spawn in. My current weapon is only this uh, musket here. I'm guessing that's literally the, the gun that I have. Hold up. We're gonna aim down sights like so, and then once we let go, that's when we fire. Okay, got it. Chat, I actually see some of them. Dude, I shot the floor. I think this guy shot the floor too. Wait, where are my teammates at? Dude, is a 4v like 5 or something? Oh my goodness, I almost went into that guy's bullets. Dude, I can't get up this hill. It's slippery. We can actually just go up ahead, though. Okay, never mind. We can't go up ahead. Oh my goodness. There we go. Got him. Nice. It just took some aiming. Also, we have some teammates coming in, shot. We have some teammates coming. There's one guy here. Oh my goodness. Um. Dude, how can I not do my weapon? Later that same evening. Okay, we got him. Cool. And I think that's an enemy right there, too. I gotta reload, though. Yo! Oh my goodness, man. Chat, what even is this? But that was Napoleonic Wars. But I have to be honest, I thought the game was okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. If the lobby was full of players, it would probably be better. I thought that the gunplay was normal. The environment was kind of scuffed, though. I do believe the game was good and has potential to become greater. But for now, I'll just place this game in a B tier.